Hello and welcome to the program. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on Health Professional Radio. Glad that you could join us. I'm going to be speaking today with TV host and fashion journalist Louise Rowe as she shares her psoriasis story as part of the Inside Perspective campaign. It's brought to you by uh, Celgene the makers of Otesla. And she's joined today by Dr. Gary Goldenberg. Uh, he's assistant clinical professor of dermatology at the ICANN School of Medicine, Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. Welcome to the program, both Louise and uh, Gary. How are you? Thanks for having us. We're great. Thanks, Neil. Great, great. Glad you could uh, join us today and take the time. Uh, talking about psoriasis, uh, Dr. Goldenberg, what is uh, plaque psoriasis? Explain it to our listeners. Plaque psoriasis is the most common type of psoriasis. It affects approximately 7.5 million people in U.S. alone. And these patients usually suffer from red scaly plaques that are itchy or painful or just simply irritating. And it's one of the more common skin conditions that we see in dermatology. Uh, Louise, you're a television host. How has psoriasis affected you? And were the symptoms that uh, Gary was talking about, are those the same symptoms that you experienced? Yeah, they are the same symptoms, and um, with psoriasis, you you always have it. It's a genetic condition rather than something that's contagious, and so it starts on the inside of the body. So I'll have long periods where there's nothing showing up, and then suddenly I'll get a flare-up, um, and I never know how long that's going to last or where it's going to be. So being in the fashion industry and on TV, it can be tricky because, for example, I do a lot of red carpet reporting, uh, whether it's the Oscars or the Golden Globes, which is really great and glamorous, but when you've got the dress of your dreams and then suddenly you're going to have to cover up an area of your body. It can, it really, it can be quite um, give me anxiety, you know. And I know a lot of other fellow psoriasis sufferers uh, have the same kind of uh, lack in confidence, or they suddenly might cancel a social engagement, or not feel like they're able to perform a job to the best of their ability uh, because. A, there's a social stigma and you're trying to hide parts of your body, but B, it's also very uncomfortable. Uh, it, can be, it can be completely debilitating at its worst. When you started experiencing symptoms, were you young or did this happen as you were in your television career? Uh, did you have time to adjust to some of the things that you were just talking about? That's a really good question. I was in my 20s, so I just got out of college. I was... I was in running around London, you know, didn't make any, with any sleep, <laughs> super ambitious, having the time of my life, and I got a great job at a, a women's fashion magazine, but the hours were extremely long, um, and I was a lot more stressed out than I think I realized, and that manifested itself physically, and no, I didn't have any time to adjust, and I think that's what's awful about psoriasis and can make it quite difficult, and that's why we're here today to sort of offer support, guidance, and information, and, and proper information. Um, is that I, I suddenly was, was having to deal with, um, with psoriasis and, and I did ignore it for a little while and I've since learned from Dr. Goldenberg that a lot of people do that. They kind of think it might go away on its own and, and just like wish it away. Um, but that unfortunately is not going to happen and so seeking medical care and going to your dermatologist is the best thing you can do. Uh, Dr. Goldenberg, when someone does seek that medical advice as a uh Louise is, is talking about, what are some of the ways that folks with plaque psoriasis can manage the disease? I often talk to my patients about what I call a holistic approach, which includes things like diet, lifestyle modification, and then there's a whole host of medications that are approved by the FDA, and these start from topical creams and lotions to tablets and pills such as Otesla, Epremlest, and a host of biologic injections. And I think one of the most important things for your listeners to realize is that majority of patients in the U.S. that have moderate or severe psoriasis, which is sort of the more severe types of psoriasis, are either untreated or undertreated. And I think that a lot of patients have lost hope or don't think that there's anything out there that can work. So I would encourage them to see their dermatologist and formulate a treatment plan that's right for them. And they can also go to psoperspective.com to get really good me medical-grade information uh, that's correct and uh, that's been vetted. Uh, Louise, as someone who's in the public eye on a daily basis, as most of us are not, what message do you have for those of us who are dealing with plaque psoriasis, um, whether, you know, at home, at school, or as yourself in the public eye? 
that they're not alone, you know. Seven and a half million people in America is a huge, huge statistic and actually is possibly low, a lot lower than it actually is. Um, and I think, I, I just love people to know that there are things they can do. I want them to feel supported um, and they can go to psoperspective.com uh, to hear more about my story. Also on my personal blog, louiserow.com, I've written about this. And, um, you know, I'm answering questions and comments from, from my perspective. And at the same time, psoperspective.com is giving real medical advice. Great, great. And Dr. Goldenberg, where can our listeners go and learn more about the uh, ICANN School of Medicine uh, Department of Dermatology? Well, they can simply Google ICANN School of Medicine, and there's, there's a lot of information on, on, on the department there. But I think what's really important for your listeners, especially those who have psoriasis or know somebody who has psoriasis, for them to seek help because there's, there are a lot of great treatment options available now. Well, I thank you both. I appreciate you so much for talking with me this morning. Uh, Louise Rowe and Dr. Gary Goldenberg, thank you both for joining us on thank Health you. Professional Radio. Thank you, Neil. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Transcripts and audio of the program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. Thank you for listening to Health Professional Radio. We're very proud to be an independent broadcaster providing our content free of charge to you, the listener. One of the ways that we're able to remain free and independent is by having people like you become patrons. You can support Health Professional Radio simply by visiting hpr.fm and clicking the button that says Become a Patron. Your patronage of even just $1 a month lets us know that you're there, which in turn makes us more valuable to advertisers. And, of course, if you're able to afford more, then we would certainly appreciate the support. My name is Toby Longhurst from Health Professional Radio. Please visit hpr.fm, click the Become a Patron button, and support us if you can.